This Rev3 Games impression is brought to you by Gamefly. So I recently had the pleasure of getting my hands on a new game from 2K and Turtle Rock. Those are the creators of Left 4 Dead. It's their title, Evolve. And one thing I do want to point out, I got my hands on. Uh, rarely have I ever gone to an event where the first time I see the game is also an opportunity to play the game. And I'll, I'll have to tip my hat. That is a, a clear demonstration of confidence in the product. Uh, I was told it was pre-alpha. It looked damn good. It's being used with the Cry, uh, the Cry Engine, so it's a very attractive looking game. Uh, played it on PC. Everyone else was using keyboard and mouse. I still use a controller. Forgive me, I'm old. Anyway, moving on. What is the game? It's called Evolve. Um, it is definitely in the spirit, kind of uh, an evolution of Left 4 Dead. You, uh, there are four human characters of different classes. There's a hunter class, a support class, a medic class, and your assault class. Uh, they have very, very distinct skills. And what they're trying to do is trap a monster on a planet that has a lot of other creatures as well. And that monster, this is really the hook of the game, is also controlled by the character. Birds in the air, something's rolling them up. In the final version of the game, apparently there will be different characters within each class, and there'll be much different monsters in different levels. We only had one slice, one level, one monster. Uh, but I have to say, I really enjoyed myself playing it. I always enjoyed the Left 4 Dead series, and this you know, took that foundation of really having to be cooperative with your friends and that sense of surprise, and it felt like it was even more organic because of the player-controlled boss monster. There are some AI-controlled uh, creatures that are on the level that uh, can get in the way of the player characters and are very useful for the creature character because the more that the creature consumes the flora and fauna and the players, he grows and he evolves, gaining more powers throughout the course of the match. So really what it is is the most intense game of hide-and-go-seek you can imagine playing. Uh, the creature gets about a 25-second head start to try to get out there, try to consume, try to evolve as quickly, and then the four players really have to work in concert to find out where the monster is and really try to contain it. Uh, the, the hunter class is two of the best powers for doing that. A harpoon to try to hold him in place, and he can throw out a dome that the creature cannot get out of for a period of time, so you can really try to you know, ply him with all the weapons that you have, although you're gonna remain in fairly close proximity to the creature with his very aggressive melee attacks. One of the terms we're hearing a lot about multiplayer is asymmetrical multiplayer, and this really is asymmetrical. And you know, probably the best way of describing it it is, um, it's probably the best Ghostbusters game that doesn't have the word Ghostbusters in it, even though there really aren't any good Ghostbusters games. Uh, there was just always a sense of surprise, a sense of invention. I played all four classes, and just there was hooting and hollering, and then really having to get in there, tell your, your teammates what you are doing so that they can plan with their skill sets, how that they can complement that. Uh, the creature itself can be really, really terrifying when you get in close and you're gonna have to, just swatting at you. Uh, there's leap attacks, throwing huge rocks. There was just a sense of fun and adventure that really is not present in so many other multiplayer games out there because it really is indulging more of a fantastical fantasy than the fantasy of being powerful with just a big weapon shooting other people in the head. Also, the level we used, it was kind of a jungle level. It did have a man-made structure in it that had a generator and that was protecting some civilians. And if those civilians were completely wiped out by the creature, that would actually terminate the match. Um, but even though there was that focal point, there is no sense of a through line. It's not, say, Left 4 Dead, where you are trying to get from point A to point B. You really are just kind of traversing this entire environment, playing that game of hide-and-go-seek. And it just felt very fresh and very familiar and built upon some very good ideas that we We've seen in other types of asymmetrical multiplayer games, but this really seems to be a realization of a lot of the best ideas out there that either technology or design has not been able to accomplish. Going into it, I think my biggest concern about this game is whether or not there is enough dynamic ways that they could present this scenario that it would keep the player interested. This one level alone, I could have probably played for two more hours if I wasn't 
getting very tired and I needed to go home and see my wife. So if that there was so compelling and you look at the history of Left 4 Dead and how replayable that was, they add in more monsters, they add in more characters. There really seems to be a foundation to keep this game very invigorating and very interesting. That's something, of course, that is yet to be seen until we see more of the game or it's finally available on shelves. But I can happily say Evolve has risen to the very top of my list of the games I'm most excited to be playing in 2014. Are you enjoying this gameplay impression and you would like to support Rev3 Games? Then why not check out Gamefly? Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 8,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. Plans start at just $15.95 a month and members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. Once you're done playing, just send it back and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. You can support Red 3 Games and get a free 15-day trial when you sign up at Gamefly.com slash Red 3 Games.